My first guest was a six-term member of the House of Representatives representing Georgia's 11th and 4th District from 1993 to 2003, and then from 2005 to 2007. She's now a huge activist worldwide for injustices happening anywhere. Please welcome to the show, Congresswoman Cynthia McKinney. I want, if, if you don't mind, I wanted to dive in and just ask you, uh, start asking you questions, if that's okay. That's all right. I want to start. Congresswoman, what was the driving force that got you involved in politics in the first place? Uh, were you were you following? I know your father was in politics. Were you following his footsteps, or was this a journey that you were taking on your own? Oh no 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 no! This is not a journey I was taking on my own at all. And um, in fact, I uh, spent last night at Delaware State with uh, a professor. There's a situation going on. I'd like your listeners to know about. Um, there was, um, well, I was there basically because of the intervention and the invitation of a professor who has been banned from the campus. Now, Delaware State is a historically black college and university. It's one of the historically black colleges and universities. And um, there is a serious move afoot to, how can I say, uh, keep the money and get rid of the black professors. <laughs> um, right. And so the students, uh, in response to some of the decisions that were made, the students had a demonstration, and one of the professors supported the students, ended up getting uh, jerked around, knocked on the ground, beaten and kicked while he was down, by the police, and then, of course, the police have charged him with um, a, a series of infractions, and he's been uh, put on administrative leave and banned from the campus as a result of this black professor supporting black students who want to maintain at least the integrity of the institution that they chose to attend. And um, so I was invited to go there, but in the conversation that I had with the professors after the event was over, it was very striking because about seven or eight years ago, I was invited to speak at Bluefield State College, which is in West Virginia. It, too, is a member of the historically black colleges and universities uh, system around the country. And it, too, at that time, was going through a similar ethnic cleansing, you could say, so that the black professors were being fired and they were bringing in white professors and white students. Now that is happening at Delaware State. This is very important because this uh, professor believes that his life is in danger because he has written a piece, which I hope to get my hands on it. I don't have it now, but I would certainly like to share it with anyone who's interested in this subject matter um, about the ethnic cleansing of historically black colleges and universities in the age of Obama was the paper that he wrote. And he had a meeting with the person in the Department of Education who is charged with looking out for or serving the administration's interests as it relates to HBCUs. And in this meeting, he this professor was told that the era – of um, HBCUs is over. So I think we need to understand that uh, every aspect of our lives is under attack. And the, the institutions that we've taken for granted, we've not devised a strategy to protect. And when something that is valuable is not protected, it will be stolen. 
And that's what's happening to us now is that things that um, were sort of rock-solid icons in the community are literally being snatched from us. And that includes our babies, as is the case with uh, Trayvon Martin, but it's in every aspect of our lives. 